All right, here's what we got. We're gonna call it 50 Shades of Suck. Um, it's gonna go nice and quick here. Um, we got 50 reps with a single medium to heavy size dumbbell. Um, you know, guys, I'd say try for sure 40, 50 pounds. Um, and ladies, maybe 20, 30 pounds. Um, you know, and if you can go stronger than, and go heavier than that, definitely, you know, push yourself with the weight. Um, first move, first move here, we're gonna go with a goblet squat. So you're gonna hold that dumbbell. Um, on the on the ends there, um, right below the chin, toes forward, sitting down, full range of motion, all the way down, all the way up, big squeeze at the top, stand on those heels. Oh, and with this one, we can't put the weight down. If you put that dumbbell down, you got some a penalty to play. I'll show you. I'll show you what that uh, penalty is here at the end. So keep it up. Whatever you got to do, put it on the back, hold it between the knees. You keep that dumbbell up. 50 reps of squats, the goblet squats, back stays straight, chest stays big. After you do 50 reps of the squats, move two. Still not putting that weight down. We're going to go into that bent over row, staggered stance. So keep most of the weight in the front leg. If you're rolling with the right, that means the left leg is forward. Most of that weight is forward. Lead with the elbow. Again, don't put it down. Whenever you put it down, you got that penalty. And it's all right. If you, right. I'm saying it as if it's a bad thing. If you put it down, it's all right. I even incorporate it into my workout to just get that little cardio and to keep my form good. You don't want to go with bad form, so that's all right. So nice pull here, elbow back, stretching it out, most of that weight in the front leg. So 25 of each on those moves there. And then here as well, it's going to be a unilateral move. So it'll be 25 each side here. We got a stiff leg deadlift to a snatch. So if it's in the right hand, we ride that weight, ride the hand down the right leg, hinging at the hips, back stay straight. You snatch through, popping it up. From that shin area, it goes quickly overhead, big squeeze at the top. Back is staying straight here. So here's the other angle. You want to keep the back straight. Slight bend in the knees. Let the hips fall back. Pop through nice and powerful overhead. And so if we put that weight down, which I recommend, you know, you should have a weight where you have to put it down. The only thing you got to do is five burpees with no jump. So you want to squat down. You'll jump it back in the plank. Push up. Jump it up. Squat up. Squat down, jump it back in the plank, push up, jump it up, squat up. It's only five of those, and you can take your time. You can take 30 minutes and get back to it. I wouldn't recommend that. You know, Go back a couple of minutes, catch your breath, grab some water, go do what you need to, and get back into it. It took me about 15 minutes, um, 15 to 20 minutes. And granted, you don't try to compete with me, but challenge yourself. You know, As quickly as you can, you want to get through it. Have fun.